This section describes batch registration of DMET plus arrays using Affymetrix GeneChip command console software. To batch register your DMET plus arrays, go to the AGCC portal. First, let's check to see whether we have our DMET plus template. Looks like we do. You'll notice that it has several sample attribute fields, including a few that are required. And this is actually why you need to register your samples before you scan your chips. The two required fields are sample type to allow you to specify whether your sample is genomic material or non-genomic, for example, plasmid. The other required field is consented marker list, which specifies which set of DMET plus markers should be genotyped. You can create your custom list that has to sync with what's in DMET console. For example, you can replace the second line other list one edit me with your own custom marker list name, save this template, and then use it when you batch register. Then in DMET console, import a marker list with exactly the same name, and at the point of genotyping, that consented marker list will be used. Or if you want to process everything, select DMET plus all. To register your samples, let's do a batch registration. So we will associate the DMET template to add the required sample attributes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a spreadsheet for 24 chips. And where should I save the data? I'm going to save it to the default folder. And since I'm working with DMET plus arrays, I'll select the DMET plus probe array type. Then I'll download the Excel template that I can enter the rest of the, my values. So we need to fill in the barcodes that we're using. And for each barcode, we need to know what the required sample type is and the consented marker list. So I'm going to copy and paste that information from another worksheet. And I'll name the files with the same name as uh, the barcodes. So do that both the sample file name and the array name. And now for the required fields, we have sample type and consented marker list. Sample type, mostly sample, consented marker list, DMIT plus all. Let me populate this all. Eh, and one for sample that is being called a genomic control. Let's just call that a control. It doesn't affect how the data is uh, genotyped uh, as long as it's genomic DNA, but it, it does allow in cluster plots color coding some of the data points as controls versus samples. So this is certainly optional, but it is definitely required to fill in some sample type and some consented marker list. So now that I've entered the information, let me save it. Batch registration window and do step three. Upload the batch registration file. That's the one I just created. Upload. There have been no errors. Do I want to save samples? Yes. And so then because I put it in the default project, it will save it to the command console data root and the newly created sample files for which there's 24 because this started out as empty. Now each have a sample type and a consented marker list. So we are good to go. At this point uh, we can load the chips into the scanner and scan them and then process the data in DMET console.